Good morning. I wanted to tell you that all the documents related to these can be downloaded in the Catalan Ministry website where you can find the rollout and the project behind. Our school is the San Gervasi Cooperative School. Let me emphasize this, that this is a teacher's cooperative so that we can have a continuity in the educational approach. Our educational model is based in the commitment and a vision of collective accountability. And we are for an ongoing enhan educational enhancement. This is not a technological project, but a digital literacy project. If our daily activities is taking place more and more on mobile devices, any time, any place, so that we are always online, if we want digitally competent students, we need to integrate these into the way we teach and learn. Therefore, we need to strongly commit to the ubiquitousness of our school in our daily approach. This project is integrated from three year olds up until high school for all our students. It's included into our yearly plan as a strategic goal for the school. What's the road we've gone through so far? We are transforming the way we teach and we have more meaningful, enriching and motivational teachings. Therefore, ubiquitousness transforms the space, the classroom on the outside, mobility enabling us to, tran to transcend the space and time. Even though we are still using classroom, the use of these devices allows us to consider projects that go beyond these physical constraints. This means that we promote creativity through projects such as the creation of digital handbooks, working on the environment, discovering yourself, video recording and several more projects that you can find at our website. They are all incorporated into our classroom activity when working on science, robotics, language or mathematics, to name but a few. Furthermore, mobile technology allows us to adapt ourselves to the different working paces so that we customize learnings also socializing and respecting the individual specificities. It also helps us to provide for a cross-cutting interdisciplinary work amongst the different subjects such as history, mathematics or languages. And sorry because I think I skipped one slide, but we can also implement different methodologies such as project-based learning or inverted classroom amongst them and also promoting collaborative dynamics that are part of our day-to-day -day dynamics. How are we doing that? With a staff that's guideline-based, also with training and education because they are ongoingly training on what's going on their surrounding. They are also committed, they believe in the project, and they are digitally competent, and they are fluent in the languages provided by technology. Technology is not just a means, but also a way of building, a way of creating. They are creative, they look for new ways and new solutions, and therefore, as such, they innovate. How do we do that? Not just because we think that just creativity is an important part, we tend to improvisation. No, we are 
organized through a yearly action plan through cooperative shared tools and we have strongly committed ourselves to organization. We believe that we need to be properly arranged and for that we have a specific department working on the innovation and safeguarding the quality of this project. And what's to be the next frontier? So far we've told you about the history and that we've gone through. Might seem humble but yet this is just a stepping stone onto the next one. Some years ago it would have been awkward to think that mm, digital devices would be included within our classrooms. Can you imagine what will go on in 10 years time from now on? And now many people for instance have their Twitter in their hands and but we do not know what we will have in our hands 10 years from now. What we know for sure is that we will continue in our schools and that we will support this change. Thank you. So,